Only three days at sea from Saudi Arabia, we arrived in Port Ghalib, Egypt. We settled in at the marina to get some boat work done and to get ready for our guests to arrive. So we're getting ready for our friends that are coming out. The kids' friends are coming out. We've got to get the captain's peak ready to go. It's full of loaded of stuff. The kite room over there, we've got to get it cleared out. We've got to get the boat cleaned up, get stuff stored away, make room for all these guys that are coming out. We've got five people coming on board, and uh, it's going to be a big load on the boat, so we've got to get everything organized. That's what we're doing today. What guests are we talking about? Well, a few months ago, we got a crazy idea and decided to invite some teens or young adults out to the boat to spend a month with us. We asked for videos explaining why we should pick them, and after hundreds of videos and dozens of Zoom calls, we made our decisions. We chose Adri, 19, from Canada, Bella, 18, from Florida, Mara, 19, from the Netherlands, Coleman, 18, from Arizona, and Ethan, 19, from Indiana. They'll be here in just a few days, and we need to make room for all of them to sleep. Sure, how So where's Finn gonna sleep? With you, Jack, or in the... He's gonna sleep in the kite room. room. His old bedroom. His old bedroom, yep. Cool. At least that's what we forecast is mm -hmm. what's gonna happen. So this is our store all room. Cap captain's the, the feet, captain's probably captain's feet. Anyway, we gotta clean it out. It's got a head down there, manual head. Yeah. yeah. I have to step on that fishing rod. Okay, and it's got uh, two bunks there that they look like they're sagging. Yeah, they are, but we're going to fix all that. Okay. It's like when you're cleaning, you find all sorts of crap to play with. boxes somewhere else. Then. Well, I'm sure okay, we're putting our merch away because we've got a lot of merch for meetups. And uh, that was something that's taken up a lot of room there in that captain's peak. I just don't want to hit any build points here. I think that'll be all right. There you go. Look how clean. I'm inhaling chemicals. <laughs> it's burning my nostrils. I can, I can it. feel it in my lungs. You're doing a great job. Today, we've had these uh, Keenan fuel polishers on here for about uh, a month and a half. 
if you look in here, so this is, this is, I had to switch the filter too. If you look down in here, you can see there's no sediment down there. Right. Now look at that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, I can see. It's like... It's like dirt. I mean, look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's how good these things work. I mean, they, that's just, that's why I put them on here, was for that reason. Wow. So we're going to we're gonna drain all that sediment out of that bowl. That came out of my tank, or it came out of a batch of fuel. I don't know which. Well, it's kind of plugged up. Uh. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Oh, turn, turn on the fuel uh, fuel polishing units. The it says fuel on the main deal. Main circuit board. Yeah. together we'll let that settle and you'll be able to see yeah look at the water in that fuel water that's that's water that's water oh my gosh that's not good is it but i mean that's what this does it's yeah. the worst for all right so uh that's a neat little system so when did we get fuel last where is this we got good from? fuel in jetta and then we've got uh, probably this fuel we came from uh, from uh, your booty. Uh, your booty. Your booty. Your booty. Uh, yeah, that's what's in your booty. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Huh. Is this supposed to be white? Yeah, it's supposed to be. That's the other one black. Nice and white. Like that. Do you have a bunch of. Those yep, filters? I do, I do. Spares? I do. I don't like systems work and work well. Awesome. It's room cleaning time. Yeah. This is where I'll be staying for the month while the kids are on the boat. Okay, this is where Adri and Mara are going to sleep. This is Finn's room. It was so messy and now it's all clean. All right, the Captain Peak's all clean. That's where Coleman and Ethan will sleep. And Bella will bunk with Kate. And Kate has a little bit more cleaning to do before they get here. I'm all packed up. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Our five new guests traveled halfway around the globe to spend a month on Zatara. Starting from three different countries, four of them hooked up in Zurich and flew together to Egypt. Yep, we've got Ethan trying to sleep behind us. We've got Coleman in his own room. <laughs> the fifth had passport issues back in Florida and had to get a new passport and then catch a later flight. All right, so we're going to get the new crew. So we're picking up for the five. What happened to the fifth? Well, she had a passport issue in Florida. Egypt wouldn't let her in because her passport was like four months it expired or something like that and she needed over six months or something so she had to stay an extra day in Florida to get that sorted out but she's in Germany now so she should be coming later in around three today so we're picking up four yeah. of the five we're going to pick up the four because they're sitting in the airport waiting and they all got to ride together that's so cool this is gonna be fun they're almost here they're almost here Kate what do you what do you think well, according to the scientific review of their arrival, I think that they are going to be here at exactly... Kate, we know when they're going to be here. The question is, are you excited? I am... Are you excited? I'm most honored for them to come here. Okay. Hello. Hello. It's, coming out. it's Coleman. Good. Everyone. Good. Hey. Hello, big man. Hey. Ladies, okay. First. Ladies first. Okay. Mora. Adri. I'm Ethan. <laughs> okay. I thought we were going. Around. I'm Coleman. All and right. I'm... And how old are you guys? How old am I? 19. 19? Yeah, almost. 19. I'm 18. All right. All right. All right. All right. Welcome, Coleman. Thank you. You're officially now on Zatara. Yes. Made it. Welcome, Kate. Hello. <laughs> Yo, this boat is so cool! Just don't fall. Those are off. Bro. Welcome, Mara! Hi! Oh, I did it! 
<laughs> oh my gosh! First time on the boat! This is insane! Alright, All right, so Finn, I'll show you how that toilet works. Yeah, uh, so it's really simple. Alright, if you look, I have a little glance. This button, it puts water in the toilet. You only really need to do it once. This button flushes it, and it puts a little bit in as it flushes, and then it goes. Listen to that! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I just saved both of them You're for such you. a stud. You guys having fun already, aren't you? Oh yeah. So we're waiting on Bella to arrive. She had issues with her flight and her passport, so she's just now pulling up because Dad went over to pick her up at the airport. So we're all waiting out here to cheer her on because she's a long, long few days. She's the straggler yeah. of the group. <coughs> Bella! Yeah, All right, the last one. <laughs> you made Welcome, it. Welcome, Bella. Best for last. Yeah. 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 The biggest Hi. inconvenience Hi. ever. Oh, good to meet you. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy wait. to be here. <laughs> so we're teaching these youngins how to throw dock lines. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll this line up. Take that loop, stick it to your arm, and just coil it like that. Nice and easy. That's, the, that's how you throw a line. Roll up, throw it. Yeah, it's not good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good, that was good. Yeah! There you go. That works, that works. She's got to the boat. We ain't cross the equator, you shellbacks, you could become your pot. What do they call them? And then it makes uh, it easier. Scally right? <laughs> Scallywags could, could become shellbacks. Texas Roadhouse? This is not no, good. Uh, there you go, pull it through. Steakhouse. It's close. Yeah. There you go. There you go. That's close enough. All right, one more time. <laughs> yeah, one, one more. That looks like a wounded duck, but it'll work. I'm so scared now. Scared of what? <laughs> the boys are like, I got this! And I'm like, no, I don't got this. The line will pop. Good job. Good there job. There you go. Like That's the hardest part is learning that rhythm right there. There you go. Perfect. That was really good. Damn. She did it good. Bam. Good job, I can't believe I did it. Good I'm job. Because nice the rabbit's in his hole, he comes up, see what's going on. He goes around the tree to hide from the Elmer Fudd, and then he goes right back into his hole. Side. There you go. What does the rabbit do? He comes out of the hole. He goes around the tree. Around the tree. Back. He goes around the back of the tree. What did you do that for me? He goes around the back of the tree, and what does he do? He goes back in the hole. So this and that, and you're done. Perfect. Back in the hole, and you pull it tight. Perfect, Bella. My turn. Good job, Kate. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I still got it. <laughs> First day first full day on the boat and it's been good it's been good it's been interesting I slept really well which I was not expecting so first impressions lively everybody's going around making jokes you know getting to know each other so that's good I feel very European <laughs> everybody's American or Canadian so I feel the out one out sometimes but I do like that I'm in Egypt right now. You know, I woke up this morning and it was 8 a.m. here. And I was like, it feels like 2 a.m. And I looked it up and it was 2 a.m. at my house. It was kind of weird because I felt like when I woke up, I felt kind of like disoriented because, you know, there's like waves of uh, other boats going by. So it was a little weird. 
I'm really excited about actually getting out and doing stuff and mostly about actually getting onto the water and doing the three-day passage. I'm a little bit scared of not having Wi-Fi for that long, just like no contact with friends or family and yeah. We're in this port that has um, a lot of like scuba diving boats coming in, so there's a lot of nightlife and so there was a lot of oomch, oomch, oomch music going. It was really loud, but once I actually got to sleep, it was great. Keith came into our room at like seven o'clock and just stared at us. Turns out he was messing with the AC. He wasn't really staring at us. Everybody's super nice. I think everybody's getting along pretty well. And I'm super excited to uh, go to Luxor tomorrow. For the Dutch people watching, it's heel leuk hier. Um, the boat's echt super groot. And iedereen is echt gewoon aardig. And Het gaat super goed. Um, als je gesubscribed bent op dit kanaal, ben je echt slayer. Echt de real ones. Dus blijf kijken. Um, so that was a secret message to my Dutch Dutch watchers. Anyways, I'm having a great time so far. Um, hopefully it will get juicier in the next couple videos. But for now, that's all I got. Let's go. Tune in next week as we do some sightseeing in Egypt and then set sail for Saudi Arabia.